All right, so if you're working a lot with video, whether it's screencast video, talking head video, any type of video in your e-learning courses, one thing you may want to look at is working with poster frames. Now, it takes a little bit of extra time to set one, but I think it's worth it, especially when you're uh, creating videos that don't necessarily start playing right away. Now, what's a poster frame? A poster frame is really just the cover frame. So when you think about a video, by default, the video's first frame is what you're going to see. So that's what we see right here. If I click play, uh, the video plays and, and continues. But this first frame is really what the learner sees when you have a video sitting on your slide. Now, not always is this video frame going to be a very meaningful frame. So for example, um, in this example, uh, this is a video poster frame. But here's what the original video looked like. It doesn't look like much, right? Well. What it is, is it, what the video is, it's sort of a storytelling shot with a little bit of drama. So it kind of begins with a, a guy walking in on the slide. This frame right here is far more meaningful, right? It's actually got a picture of someone. We can see that he's thinking. Um, this course is on economic uh, espionage, so obviously he's uh, thinking about that. But this opening frame doesn't really help us. And so one of the things we can do is actually look for a better frame to sit on the top of our videos and it's really simple to do in storyline so the video that you've inserted right this is just a video right click the video and then you have this option called set poster frame what you can do here is then find an image or maybe a frame you could have exported a frame out of that video that's what we did right here and use that as that cover image so at least it sits there it communicates something you can almost use it for uh, like you would a graphic or an image in your course but it's obvious that this is a a video and then we'll trigger the video to play with a button. Now you don't always have to use just an image. Sometimes you might want to use it as a cover screen. So like in this surfing example, right? Uh, this is an image right here. If I just remove it, there's our start screen of the video. That actually kind of works, but if you're using it as maybe as a splash screen for your course or a cover screen, you can actually use the uh, poster frame to include some sort of titling effect. And of course, the video play bar right down here indicates that this is a playable video, unlike the other one where we actually used our own uh, custom button. But video poster frames are a really great way to add some visual context to your videos, and especially for the videos that don't auto run, right? So you have a, a user initiated play button, and they're going to sit on your slide for any period of time, you might want to consider adding poster frames just to create that additional visual context.